Hey guys, today we are gonna do some ice cream chemistry. Um, and you probably have everything you need right in your kitchen. Um, now today I'm gonna kind of modify it because I don't have everything in my kitchen. Um, but what we're gonna need are a few basics, including a sandwich sized zipper top plastic bag. Um, for today's experiment, I'm just gonna use a gallon sized bag. I don't have a sandwich size. So we need one sandwich size zipper top plastic bag. Um, we also need, I'm gonna use a container, a plastic container, um, halfway filled with ice. Now you can use a, zip, a gallon bag instead of a container, um, or we're, oh, today I'm gonna try out this, this plastic container with ice. We will also need one cup of very cold milk. So I'm gonna be using whole milk. Um, you can use chocolate milk. You can use half milk, half, half and half. You can use half milk, half heavy cream. You can use 2%, you can use fat free, um, but probably the more fat in the milk, the better the ice cream's gonna hold up. So that is a cup of milk. Um, we're gonna need to use two tablespoons of sugar. We also need half a teaspoon of vanilla flavoring, which I don't have, but I normally do. Um, and if you were my mom and you were making this, you would be using more than just a half a teaspoon because she loves vanilla extract. Uh, we need coarse salt. I'm gonna use kosher salt today. Uh, if you don't have kosher salt, you can use regular salt, re regular table salt. Um, we're gonna be using a lot though, so keep that in mind. Um, and then just your basic measuring containers. So I have my glass Pyrex. This is for liquid measurement. Um, that's important. My fourth and fifth graders know that fluid ounces are different than just solid ounces. And I have my tablespoon right here to measure out the sugar. To make the ice cream mix, add the following to the sandwich bag. Two tablespoons of sugar. I'm just going to make sure it's exactly a tablespoon. All right. Your one cup of milk. And if you have vanilla extract, go ahead and add your half a teaspoon or more of vanilla extract. We're going to go ahead and seal the back. Make sure it's nice and tight because we're going to be shaking this up. All right, make sure no air can get out. Good. All right, I'm gonna give this a good mix. Make sure that sugar dissolves with the milk. And if I have vanilla extract in there, make sure that mixes also. All right, so this is our ice cream. Right now it is a liquid, and we know that ice cream is a solid, so right now we're gonna put that to the side. What we need now is that plastic container filled with about half the way with ice. Uh, you know, this is probably about two, two and a half, three cups of ice in here. I'm going to go ahead and get my tablespoon measure out again. I'm going to measure out about two tablespoons of coarse salt. Kosher salt, table salt, any salt you have around the house. All right. And we're going to talk about why this is an important step later. There's one tablespoon, and here is our second tablespoon of salt. Awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put my ice cream mixture in with my ice. I'm gonna let some air out, it's a little too poofy. Ideally, this does work better with that sandwich size, pl size plastic bag. All right. This guy's going to go in there. I'm going to close this up nice and tight. All right, and we are going to shake this up until the liquid ice cream inside starts to uh, come together as a solid instead of a liquid.
baby sugar ice cream. Um, it took me about five minutes. It'll probably take anywhere between five and 10 minutes. You'll also notice something. You'll notice that the ice is melting quicker than it normally would. And that's because we added the salt. Um, and we're gonna talk about the science behind why the salt and the ice as a mixture is so important to freezing um, our liquid ice cream. So I checked it. I'm gonna take it out of my ice cream machine here. It is mostly a solid, all right, fair warning. This is a little messy, um, but all science is messy, right? So I'm gonna open it up and I have solid ice cream. I'm gonna get my spoon real quick. Now mine doesn't have vanilla, so it's not that, it's not gonna be as good as yours. And I'm sure chocolate milk is even better. Mmm. Tastes just like ice cream. So let's chat real quick about the salt and the ice. Now, it's important to know in science, there's three main um, phases of matter. We have gases, we have liquids, and we have solids. Um, now, gases move freely. Um, examples of gases are oxygen, uh, nitrogen, helium in your balloons. Those are all really good examples of gases. Um, liquids, uh, they kind of take the shape of the container that they're in. So water, oil, milk, um, they're free flowing. If they're not in a container, they kind of go everywhere. And uh, the last important solid to know is, uh, or the last important phase of matter to know is solid. Um, that's your sugar, your salt, your ice, um, anything that has a um, definite shape and definite volume. Now, when we added the salt to the ice, and I mentioned how the ice melted a little faster than it normally would. So here's what happens. The freezing temperature of water is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. And my fourth and fifth graders, I hope you know this, that is zero degrees Celsius. So water freezes at zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That's normally why we see snow when it's 32 degrees outside. Um, when we add the salt to, to any water, it lowers its freezing temperature. So what happens is salt is placed on ice, like um, if, if it's a snow day, you put salt out on the roads. Um, and what happens, a reaction occurs. Um, and it takes the energy, the heat energy, from the environment um, and puts it into the ice, causing the ice to melt faster. Uh, so anything that's near the melting ice loses some of its heat energy and gets colder. Now, what was near our ice and our ice cream maker? Well, that was our ice cream mixture. So the uh, heat energy that went into melting the ice all right, got pulled out of our ice cream mixture, so the opposite of hot is cold. Um, so heat got pulled from the ice cream mixture, making it um, colder than what it normally would be, and then resulting in a freezing effect. All right, so that is ice cream chemistry. I hope you try this at home. Um, please make sure it's okay with your parents first. Um, if you need any ideas for modifying, maybe um, you can't eat sugar. I would definitely use uh, Splenda or any of your sugar substitutes. Maybe you can't have dairy. Like I said before, I think this experiment works best um, with a milk with high fat in it. Um, but uh, if you're up for the challenge, why don't you give it a try and let me know how it works. Um, and I hope to upload a few more experiments for all you guys while you're home. Uh, you know, you your parents, uh, your teachers, your families. We all understand how difficult this is right now. And we are trying our best to make it as uh, easy and as stress-free of a time as we possibly can. It is no fun being stuck at home. I'd rather be in the classroom with you guys and getting our hands dirty in the classroom. Um, but we're gonna do our best while we um, are at home until April 14th or uh, for students April 15th. So I cannot wait to see you guys again. I'm going to post as many videos as I possibly can to make it as easy and as fun to stay at home for all of you. Bye now.